Welcome to Excel Campus. My name is John, and this is the second video in a series on analyzing survey data in Excel. So in this video, we're gonna look at how to analyze the data that's in this uh, format here that's exported from our survey software in this format here where we have one column of comma-separated values. So the data basically looks like this. This is the results from the survey, and here we just have uh, one column here with all of the results, and they've been separated by commas. So we're going to unpivot this data. Again, we want the data uh, to look more like this, where we have one column of values with a single value in each column instead of multiple values in each column. So we want the data to look like this, and then we will also have multiple rows for each entry. So we can use Power Query to do this unpivot uh, pretty quickly. So this uh, table here has already been formatted as an Excel table, so I don't need to do that step. So I'm basically gonna go to the Data tab on the ribbon and choose From Table. That's gonna bring up the Query Editor with a new query here, and you can see a preview of my data right here. So the first thing we're gonna do is use the Split Column feature to uh, basically split up this column here uh, that's uh, separated by commas. So I'm gonna choose the result column here. I'm gonna and then go over to the split column button and choose by delimiter. And that's gonna bring up this prompt here to uh, have us select what, which delimiter we wanna split it by. In this case, we're just gonna choose comma, which is the default. And then we wanna split it at each occurrence of the comma of the delimiter. So I'm gonna select that click OK. And now that's created multiple columns here. It's basically split that column into multiple columns uh, for each result. So now that I have this split, it's very the process is very similar to the first video uh, where we just unpivot it, just use the unpivot feature to unpivot this data. So I can basically select each of, uh, or select all of the columns here that contain my results and go to the transform tab and click the unpivot columns button. Uh, one little quick tip, you can also, if you just want to select the first column here, you can click the drop down here next to unpivot columns and choose unpivot other columns and it'll just do the opposite there, but it basically does the same basic thing, which creates a column of values here and then the attribute column over here, which would have been those column headers. Again, we don't need this particular column here, so we're just gonna click uh, remove to get rid of that column. So now we just have uh, one column with all the values and the entry IDs are duplicating in the first column here. And it's also automatically removed those blanks for me. Uh, Power Query considered those to be null values and the unpivot columns feature automatically removes the null values for you. So you don't even have to do that step. So now that we have this in this nice clean table, go to the Home tab on the ribbon and choose Close and Load. And that's gonna create a new sheet in our workbook with our output here from Power Query. So basically that's the same data we came up with in the first video that we can use as the source of a pivot table to analyze this data. So in the next video, we're gonna go into how to create the pivot table and then create a summary report that'll help us analyze these survey results. If you enjoyed that video, there are a few simple things you can do to help me out. If you are watching this video on YouTube, click the like button below the video and leave a comment with any questions or feedback. And please don't forget to subscribe to my free email newsletter to get more tips and tricks that will help you learn Excel. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.